You get it. So now we have the mm -hmm. postal code, street name, client name, the ages. Good. So I'm going to I'm going to move the client name to the beginning. Move to the beginning. And sorry, the username has to follow before the client name. So user ID, client name, and the username we don't really need it anymore, so we are going to remove it. Email the postal code, the street name, and then the keys. Good. And when we are done, we go to file, close and load. This time I'm going to use close and load for you to see how it happens. Okay. Click on this, and a new worksheet will be created with Chico client information, and then you can see the data is here for us. See that. Good. Okay. Now, like always. When you copy the existing data, a part of it, assuming that a new data set comes in, copy it. This time we didn't remove duplicate, so we can do this and to pick it up. And we come here, right click. You can either right click here, click on refresh, or select inside the data. You go to data, you will see refresh all. It gives you the same result. Okay, click on refresh. Mm -hmm. See automatically that's pick the new data and clean it from. So that is it for today. Any question? Also, um what you did is after the data cleaning, um you wanted the old data to be cleaned. Yeah, I'm assuming way. Yeah, I'm assuming that a new data set has come in. And then, so because the, the, the old the data set, any data set that comes in will still have the old data structure and format and everything. So, which means you not paste the data at the new query section. You paste it at the, in the old sheet. Okay. So, assuming that we added a new set of data, you paste it here. You go to the clean data, right click, and just refresh it. Pick the new data that has been added. You get it. Okay. Yeah. And then the okay, benefit so, is um let's assume in that um you had let's say two hundred um employees um data. Yeah. And the next day maybe you have an additional fifty uh People joining, yeah joining and you want to clean it you don't want to go over the same um the process again yeah. so you just copy it from the messy data because it come it comes in that form whatever and the data you is you bring it yes you bring it to the cleaned data no you paste it where the old data is the clean okay. one is still connected to the old one Oh, okay. So yeah. once you paste it in the um in the data that you have worked on previously, yes. Yes. and you refresh it, it will add it automatically exactly. to the to new one. Exactly. Without you uh, having, right. you don't have to clean it or do anything. The queries have been stored, and Power Query will take take over. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so that is it for today. Thank you.